I will jump right in since we only have 10 minutes. Um, I loved your character. I absolutely adored her. Um, I think that she, she, she gave the most real um, breakdown of what addiction is like for women of color in this country. Um, I was wondering, you know, when you first saw your lines, what did you think of, you know, this? You give me chills right now. <laughs> I swear. I swear. You just gave me chills because I have, been, you know, it's been two and a half years. And oh. when I, like, since we filmed this mm -hmm. because of COVID, you know, and everything, and I, I haven't even seen it. So when, when I read the script, uh, it blew me away. And my, my lines were like, very touching and so hard to say and you know I, I brought my coach Leland Thompson to the uh to to set because I needed my I needed to be vulnerable and emotionally available at all times and uh and he got me there and uh yeah it was it was really hard to say and and um and having the actual women who, who this film was inspired by be there was it didn't give me pressure it actually made me feel like Am I doing them justice? Because I saw their faces and I knew that 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 I was and, and it felt so good. It felt so good. And and to know that I'm doing it correctly and what I'm what I'm saying they were feeling and uh, it was just an honor. I didn't even know if you finished the scent flip, my the question, but I was just like, Hold up. I got chills right now. <laughs> no, no, you did. You did. And it it, it just kind of, you know, and you, just like you got chills right now when your character started talking, especially the monologues you did. I'm like, oh, wow, somebody's saying this in public. Um, this is great. <laughs> um, did they give you any feedback on, on you know, your performance? The women? Yeah. Yes. The, uh, hugs. Hugs and tears. You know what I mean? And, and that's what felt so genuine and, and um, about the film. And it's so honest. It's so honest. And um, and it's got a lot of heart. It's got a lot of heart. And working with Melissa, um, I, I, I've been telling everyone, I, I feel like Lady Gaga right now. But <laughs> the moment that she hugged me, it was like so real and honest. And I'm like, OK, this is going to be really special. And um, this is going to be really real. And and it was it felt so real it felt so real no makeup you know um all like just natural just natural and and my my character toaster like again she's inspired by the seven women who who this movie's inspired by uh, all together and uh you know ryan told me that he got the name because of his sister who said i'm gonna be brave like a like the little toaster and uh, it just it broke my heart, you know what I mean? And uh, it's just, mm -hmm. Ryan also, the director, he is so, he's so collaborative. And, um, you know, I did what he wanted, but he, he let me take over what I felt, you know, I needed to do. And a lot of directors don't really do that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you do any ad-libbing ad in any of your, your lines? Yeah, he let you do whatever, you know, you wanted. I'm like, I think she'd do it more like this. What do you think? And yeah and, and try it like this and try it like that like again i haven't seen the film so i don't know what scenes of mine he kept but there was just a lot of fun things i i know that he didn't keep this one because he did tell me there was like a scene like what happened to toaster and i'm like running away from the hospital with a black guy you know <laughs> that, that <was> part not... <laughs> didn't happen <laughs> yeah i know there's a lot of deleted scenes that were really funny and that you know i got to do some cool ad lib but he said that there will be, uh, I don't know if uh, we're going to have like a version with all the deleted scenes. So hopefully y'all get to see it one day. <laughs> I, I hope so. There, there must be. Um, I talked to Ryan yesterday and um, just I, I told him this. This is like at the top of my awards list, um, of my awards voting list, because I just really you guys say what needs to be said. And you're centering a population who don't, uh, you know, you haven't really heard um, the Latina voice in the opioid, uh, you know, this crisis. I mean, at all, if you really think of it, it's not out there. And so this film just kind of just <laughs> punches you in the face with it. Um, yeah. yeah. And you and Melissa are like phenomenal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The thing is that you're right. Like she said things that like were kind of scary to say as me, Jackie, you know what I mean? 
but that's the whole point of being, you know, an actor. You get to step into someone else's shoes and and say things that really could be on your mind and you just can't really say it. You know what I mean? So, again, like, I felt really powerful being Toaster. And I know that, you know, uh, she's a person that has struggles and, and, and was in a dark place and kept pulling Chama to the dark place. And you don't know whether to love her or hate her, but we all have that person that, you know, wants to share the darkness with you because she she feels like she has no nothing else, you know. So so what I loved about Chama was that she stopped listening to her. Like some people even thought that my character wasn't even real, that she was in her head, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, uh, I just I felt really honored and uh, and I feel like there's more to tell. You know, this is like the beginning of of this story, and I feel like if if we made a, a second piece of this. We have so much, so much more to say, and uh, um, I, I'm really happy that you'd enjoyed it. And hopefully, hopefully, we could get funny to make another one. <laughs> I'm hoping. I, I sent out a tweet yesterday, and like, uh, I I tagged like HBO and HBO Max and all these. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look at this, um, because this is this is the film. Yeah, everyone needs to see it. And if there is a second one, if Ryan sees this or anybody does. I want, I think we need a toaster story. We need a story about toaster. I mean, I, I think uh, the, the film gave us a little bit. I think we need the whole background. Like, let's just take the camera and just follow her. And I think that'd be great. You know what? I, I told him yesterday that <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I want to know more about her because she comes from, she's, she, and we haven't seen this, like a Latina that comes from money. Mm-hmm. with an opioid problem because it's a disease and it could happen to anybody. And uh, again, we've, we've, we've never seen a, like someone with money go through, like a Latina, mm-hmm. go through this. We always mm-hmm. see like a little white rich girl, no offense to anyone. But I mean, it would be nice to, to see that, you know, to, to put a face to that and, and tell her story. And, and maybe she maybe she she's down, but we get to see her rise up. I don't know, like, and, and Ryan needs to write it. And we talked about this yesterday. And uh, if we get a lot of love for this film, like maybe maybe we can get uh, some some more, you know, funding to, to make uh, st- a Toaster's backstory. You know, it, it felt very Orange is the New Black. You know what I mean? This film, like a like, you know, like a long episode of yes. like trauma's backstory, you know, her life. And and I do believe that there's a lot of women that we would like to see more um how they got there you know what i mean mm-hmm. in that room where they all talk right and yes all more of those backstories but and this did seem a lot like, i'm glad you said that it did seem a lot like orange is a new black like like we're going into one of those black stories but you were not flaca at all like i did not get it that at, makes me feel really good <laughs> at not i mean it's like toaster and flaca were two different people that's awesome. it could be in the same space but no yeah. they I, I tried to that. make it very, very different. Like he let me put my own style to it. I was very inspired by Edie Sedwick, you know, because she was also a very rich white girl who had an mm-hmm. opioid situation, and um, that uh, I like style wise, I was inspired by her, you know. And and uh, I, I I'm so happy you said that. You know, I I cut my hair because I didn't want anyone to even know that that was black guy you know what i mean mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. uh from the moment that you know orange is a new black i was like wig off you know <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I, I didn't have a wig for the first three years i cut my hair season three because oh. again like i started to um to to get too like black guy in my real life and i'm mm-hmm. like no 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 maybe just cutting my hair made me feel different and uh now i'm growing it out i'm growing it out it looks cute it, but Thank you. I've been six years with like short hair and I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to let my, my natural curl come back. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And mm-hmm. everything natural. So um, we'll see where that goes. <laughs> it looks cute so far. So Thank yeah, you. this is a, an amazing, amazing film. I just wanted a few minutes to just to kind of, I really to compliment you on the role <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and to get well, a little HBO bit of your will be there tonight at the oh. Latino Film Festival. I, I will be having a drink with uh, a VP of um, tagging HBO, them again. so hopefully they buy the film. I'm going to be <laughs> tweeting and tagging again. I promise you. I, I am. I'm helping Thanks. you helping Annie out here. Uh, the PR. I, I, I don't care. I love this film and I, and I'm 
talking about it to everybody. I'm trying to get as many people as I can to, you know, see it um, <laughs> because I think it's important and needs to be out there. So thank you. I appreciate it. Much love to you. And yeah, thank you, for the you support. too. You too. And thank you for giving me a little bit of your time out in the street, which looks so great behind you. It does. Yes. I'm <laughs> going to get a facial before my uh, New York live film festival. <laughs> you don't need it. You look good. <laughs> you look good. I that like New York glow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You look good right now anyway. So, well, thank you. Thank you have a good you. morning. Have a good facial. And yes, good luck thank tonight. You. <laughs> thank you. God thank bless. You. <laughs> See you later. Bye.